this is Praxis back here on the homestead site. You can see behind you the tube for the underground or under slab uh, air vent for the wood stove it is still all set there. There's gravel all packed around it. This is uh, the inlet right here coming up over here. It's going to come up. The ground level is going to be about here and then I'm probably pile stones around it. And I cut this a little extra high so I can cut it back later on uh, when I want to. I've got a cap on it temporarily just to keep stuff out of there. Uh, what I'm working on right now is uh, this water pipe that's going to go from the utility room back over here to your left, uh, through the bottom of this wall, and then out that way. These are the salvaged pipes that I grabbed from my neighbor's place, and there's going to be a union right down here. I grabbed uh, a couple of these kind of screw-on unions that also use a, uh, a pipe clamp uh, to, to hold them together. Uh, the, the screw part of it is kind of neat because as you twist, instead of having to just force them in, they've got little barbs on them, instead of having to just force them in, you can kind of screw them in and then they have the barbs and then you can clamp down on it. Uh, it was really easy to put the first one in here, and I'm not sure if you can see it, it's kind of dark and shady there and it's really bright up here, but it, the first one's right down here. It was really easy to install that one because I just kind of screwed it in. I pre-warmed the, uh, the pipe down there because it was in the cool shade over here. I pre-warmed it with some hot water. I heated up yesterday on the solar cooker. And uh, this other pipe I'm going to be joining to it has been sitting out in the sun, but I'm going to use some of this warm water to kind of just clean the end and make sure it's clean. River's back over here and he's going to help me to keep this thing spinning because whereas before I could just uh, twist in the, uh, the barb fitting itself, now I have to twist the entire hose. Maybe there's a better way of doing it, but I'm not aware of it at the moment and I really want to just get these joined together because these gravel piles over here to your right behind you, they are going to be dumped in here, filling in this whole area, that whole area, all that. Everywhere in here is going to get buried, so I want to get this stuff, uh, you know, all set before that happens. So, we've got some hot water here. I'm going to pour it on here, just to kind of clean it, and it'll also warm it up a little bit. Ow! It is pretty hot. It's from yesterday, so it's not scalding, boiling hot, but it's still pretty hot. Okay, that's good. So now I'll take this river, you ready to twist it? And River is going to just make it so that this thing doesn't offer me resistance as I'm putting these together. And last time, I needed to use gloves because that the fitting down there is kind of uh, sharp. All right, here we go, River. You ready? Yep. All right, let's start twisting. Oh, wow, it's actually sliding on pretty easily. Keep going. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. We're all done. We didn't have to twist it very much. The hot water, I think, just loosened the whole thing up. They went together really well. You did great. This happened really well. Now I'm just going to take the, uh, the uh, drill, uh, tighten down the pipe clamp, and... Uh, I didn't want to twist it. And that's the deal. That's it. Thanks for watching.